Hi, this is Pip Payne with Bring Your Own Laptop and this tutorial is going to go over importing text with InDesign CC. I'm starting off with a four page document uh, with master or primary text frames here uh, which was the primary text frames function uh, we'll go over and uh, how to set them up and set up this four page document was covered in a previous tutorial. There are a couple of ways of importing text. You can always cut and paste it from other documents. But here we're going to go File, Place. Now, I've got some text here. I'll just import one, page, one document at the moment. I could always hold down Shift to import all four. And notice that we have Show Import Options, Replace Selected Items which means that if you've got something selected on the page in InDesign it will replace that item whether it be a picture or text. Show import items is useful if you want to map styles and things like that. Let's have a look. It comes up with this box here. Notice that it says include and these are things that would come in from another program like Word and we have uh, also remove styles and formatting from text and tables. That's if you want really clean text to come in that you're going to set styles up with. Paragraph styles or a custom style import is where you would also where you would map styles from a Word document through to your InDesign styles. Uh, we'll cover that in another exercise. So, notice my cursor is loaded up, and if I click on it, it will automatically bring in the text because uh, I have a primary text frame set up. Notice that I have uh, more than these primary text frames are already linked, which is a function of the primary text frame when you set If you don't click that button when you set up a new page, you don't get these primary text frames. Something else about primary text frames which is really cool. Let's have a look at the master page. Now, if I move my primary text frame text here, you notice that it's actually moving it in the page itself as it would do to any right hand page. On the left hand, if I do that to the left hand one as well, it would change that as well. So if I move that up, there you go, the text is now adjusted on this page as it would be for the whole document. Very handy. Let's just move it back and let's look at this text. Okay, now there are several options where we want to import more text. As I said, primary text frames are all linked so I have three other stories. If I want them to be linked, then this is the way that I would bring them in. I would click into, so I've got a blinking cursor just below the end of story one, and I would go file place, bring in story two, and it will automatically link it to story one. And do the same with with page 3, story 3, and story 4. So that's how we bring in text from different documents and want them to be in a linked document. Now if you didn't want to have linked documents uh, and you had separate text files for each one, I would recommend that you don't use a primary text frame and simply bring in your text individually and bring it into the page like so. So that's without primary text frame made and when you first bring a document in you can then bring in your text. Notice that it brought it in but it only brought it into one. If I hold down shift it now changes the cursor to allow it to bring it in to all three. It's now a threaded three column story on a single page in a single text box. One last thing, which is word count. If you need to know how many characters your story has, select it with the text cursor and go Control or Apple A for all. Then go to Window Info. And there, here, you have the character count, word count, line count, and even paragraph count. That's it for this exercise on bringing in text into InDesign CC.